Lesson 1 will perform a basic SQL injection attack. First, check out Burp and make sure that it's running and using a self-signed certificate. Under the Intercept tab, make sure Intercept is turned off. Log into the application as Dade with the password of Crash and define the server IP address that the backend web services are running on. Enter in a four-digit passcode for the Remember Me functionality. And then under Transaction History, notice that all of the transactions are to a single account number, and that account number ties back to Kate. Turn Intercept on and burp, and then hit Transaction History again. When the request is trapped, insert your SQL injection. So here we'll just do a simple OR A equals A or, or 1 equals 1. Forward the request on and then disable intercept again. Notice that in the transaction history now, we've dumped the entire table, so we'll see all types of different account numbers. And that's everything. You just completed lesson one.